Editing for many photographers is usually the most time consuming step of their workflow. But what if you can edit faster, deliver projects quicker, work less and get paid more? Well, that's where Aftershoot Edits comes in. If you've been subscribed to my channel from the start, you would know that I've been using Aftershoot to call my images for way over a year now because it just saves me so much time and it gets rid of that step that I don't like doing. But this video is special because they not only decided to sponsor this video, but they also just released Aftershoot Edits 2.0 and it's packed with some amazing features to edit your photos extremely fast. So today we're going to dive right into it, talk about the new features of Aftershoot edits, show you what it's capable of and how you can use it to speed up your workflow. Okay, so Aftershoot can do some really amazing things using AI. For example, all of your sliders that you would find in Lightroom, it will adjust all of those for you. So like your highlights, your shadows, your tone curve, your HSL sliders, your color correction, your color wheels, white balance, exposure. It even uses AI to detect if a photo is overexposed or not, and then it'll correct for that individual photo. It uses AI to straighten and crop and even apply subject masks to your photos. And what's super important is that Aftershoot's AI doesn't just edit one photo and then sync everything to all the other photos. It actually analyzes each photo individually. So for example, one photo might be overexposed and one might not be. Maybe you corrected the exposure between those two shots and AI will treat that first photo or the overexposed photo differently than that other image because it'll try correcting for that overexposed shot. And that's really nice because it's not like Lightroom presets where it might work on one photo, but if you change lighting conditions, it's not gonna work on another one unless you tweak it. AI will automatically make those adjustments for different lighting conditions because it does analyze each photo individually. To use it, it's very simple. Once you have Aftershoot open, all you need to do is train your AI. So in the top right, you'll see Aftershoot edits and you can click on the new profile button. Now on the pro plan, you can only create one profile. So I've already made my profile. You have to upload about 2,500 edited photos into Aftershoot for the AI to learn from your editing style. Once you've done that, it's very, very simple. You just upload photos from a Lightroom catalog or a Capture One catalog or a folder with all your RAW or JPEG photos. Now you can decide whether or not you want to call all the images and then go into the editing. Personally, I would call and then edit, but let's go straight into the editing for this video. On the right, you just have to set your parameters before you click on edit. So in the top right, you can see I have my portraits AI profile. Once you've trained your AI, your profiles will appear here. So I have my portraits one, but brownies is actually one that I've gotten from the Aftershoot AI profile marketplace that was created by other photographers. Underneath that, you can turn on and off AI cropping and you can adjust how strong you want this effect to be. You can set it to loose or aggressive. Typically, I just leave this on loose and under default, here or this next drop down, you can select your aspect ratio. So I'll just leave it on default. Then underneath that, you can turn on and off AI straightening. We're gonna leave this on all the time. And then AI masking, Aftershoot's AI edit that subject mask. And that's basically it. Now all you have to do is click on edit in the bottom right corner. So this is a photo from a recent portrait shoot that I did and you can see that there are no edits applied to this whatsoever. Everything is reset. If we go back here, you can see this is how Aftershoot edited this portrait. And I think it did a really, really good job. It sharpened the photo and also adjusted the exposure a little bit. So if we go back to the original and now go back, it also cropped in a little bit and center frame my subject. If we go back to the original, you can see Alice is more to the left side of the frame. And this wasn't intentionally, I just didn't frame it up properly and Aftershoot corrected it. Looks like they also, again, cropped the photo. And if we go over to our mask, what did it do for the mask? Oh, interesting. Okay, so it applied a subject mask and these are all the edits that I did to it. Typically, I'll just increase the exposure a little bit 
to kind of make my subject pop from the background, increase the contrast, increase the exposure, and also desaturate it a little bit. Let's bring this to normal. But yeah, very, very cool that it edited this all by itself. And to be honest, it did it to all of these photos, all 400 photos. I didn't even have to touch these photos and make my own edits. Let's go to these photos right here. Let's see what it did here. Perfect edit. Perfect edit. We'll click on reset. You can see on the left corner here, we're catching a little bit of that, the corner of that wall. If we go back to after shoot and I cropped in to remove that, again, center framed our subject. And again, let's check out what it did with our subject mask here. Same thing, it messed, this time it messed around with our whites and our black slider. Actually added one saturation. So you can see it edited 400 photos all at once, but all the adjustments are individually to each photo. Now the nice thing is that Aftershoot Edits doesn't overwrite all your original files. It also doesn't make you re-export or save all of the edited photos. So now you have like 90 gigs in one folder, 90 gigs in another folder. Instead, it writes all of these edits to an XMP file and attaches that XMP file to your photos. So if we go into this folder here, you can see in the original folder with all your raw files, there's an XMP file attached to every single raw photo. So if you didn't like the edits that Aftershoot did, or maybe you just wanna look at all your original files in Lightroom without the Aftershoot edits, you can just go through, select all the XMP files, click delete, and everything will be back to its original state. So as you can see, this brand new version of Aftershoot edits is extremely powerful, but who is this actually made for? Who's gonna use something like this? If you're a wedding photographer or an automotive photographer, someone who just shoots a lot of photos and doesn't wanna spend time editing, all of these photos, like I did just this weekend, I shot a wedding and there was about 2,500 photos you have to go through and edit, which takes a very, very long time. Now, like I said at the very beginning of this video, I've been using Aftershoot to call my images for a very long time. So if you are a wedding photographer, someone who does take a lot of photos, you can use Aftershoot as an all-in-one software. Import all your photos, call all your photos, and then get Aftershoot to edit all of your photos. Now, in terms of price, Aftershoot is actually pretty cheap when you look at how much time it actually saves you. So for $10 a month, you can get a culling plan. For $20 a month, you can edit with Aftershoot's built-in marketplace styles. For $40 a month, which is the plan that I have, you get unlimited culling, unlimited AI, and you can create your own personal AI editing profile. And then for $60 a month, which is their max plan, you have unlimited AI calling, unlimited AI editing, but you get five personal AI editing profiles. So you're not using the same one every time. To be completely honest, I think the pro plan is good enough for the majority of people. So if you are a photographer wanting to simplify your workflow and make your life a little bit easier, definitely check out the link in the description to get one month free and 20% off using the code edits20. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Thank you Aftershoot for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you in the next one.